I told my little granddaughter, Naomi, to jump off the dock and I would catch her. I could see her looking at me with this uncertainty in her eyes. And then she said, come close, Grandma. So I reached out my hand to show her that she could believe me. That is, I was actually trustworthy and I would do what I said I would do. I would catch her. So she jumped and I caught her. It pleased me so much that she would trust me. And so she climbed up the ladder and jumped again and again and again. <laughs> Why? She believed me. There's a powerful and convicting verse in Hebrews 11 verse 6 that says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So stop and think about this. That's a pretty bold statement. If you want to please God, you must have faith. There's no other option. So the natural question is, what is, what is faith? Well, faith is simply this, in two words, believing God. That's it. Faith is believing God is who he says he is and that he can do what he says he can do. When you read Hebrews 11, it tells you what that looks like by giving us examples of people that believed God. Verse 7 says, By faith Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. See, Noah shows us that he believed God. He believed God when he said that he was going to flood the earth to deal with the wickedness. He took God at his word and he did what God told him to do and he jumped up and he built a boat. That's believing God. Verse 8 says, By faith Abram, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Abraham believed God. When he was told to move to another place, he didn't have all the answers as to why, but he believed God and jumped into action. Both Noah and Abraham pleased God because they believed him. So here's a question for each one of us. Do we believe God? Do we believe that he is who he says he is? The creator of all, the one in control, the one who's over every power, the one who provides, heals, saves us, and is our friend? Do you believe God is who he says he is? That's faith. Do you believe God will do what he says he will do? that he will provide for you, that he is with you, that he will make all things right, that he fulfills every promise, that he loves you unconditionally, that you can trust him because his ways are always best and when you jump, he'll catch you. That's faith. So what are you facing right now that requires you to believe God? Remember, without faith, simply believing God, it is impossible to please him. So when God says jump, we say, how high? Because that's faith and that's courageous living.